Hi, Tim from Nectar here. I'm going to take you through the VST control that we've added to our Reason integration for the Panorama series. We've mapped more than 100 of the most popular VSTs and added them to our remote maps. That gives you access to the most important controls by default via our standard mapping. It gives you access to any automatable parameter via our proprietary grab feature. It also gives you a randomized control and all of this coupled with the fantastic integration that Panorama brings to Reason 9.5. We're now going to take a look at the workflow. Let's start by adding a VST to our track. Shift instrument in instrument mode loads up the new instrument menu from which you can select Reason devices by name but also rack extensions and VSTs using Reason's browser. When you select a plugin manufacturer's name in the browser you can expand and retract the list of plugins using shift and patch buttons on Panorama. I'm going to go ahead and load up one of my favourite VSTs, the Korg MS20. When you load a VST up in Reason, Panorama has instant control over the most important parameters. These are mapped out according to our standard mappings. Standard mappings ensure a consistent layout for synthesis based VSTs and rack extensions through our remote maps. This is oscillators and modulators on the top row filter base parameters on the bottom row, envelopes on the faders, normally amplitude filter, and a master volume control. The second page of standard mappings gives you a more custom layout for the plugin that you are controlling at the time. And if we look at the faders page, you'll notice that the software values shown in white, they won't change until the physical fader catches up with that position. So no jumping parameters there. The randomized control works on the parameters in the display at the time. You can also control internal patches of the device. And when you combine this with the randomized control, you can come up with some interesting sounds that perhaps you wouldn't have thought of yourself. So quite a creative tool there. When you're ready to record, lay down some notes and perhaps some parameter automation, it's as simple as hitting the record button on Panorama. Rack extensions, VSTs, makes no difference to Panorama. You select the track in Reason and you can record directly to the device that is on that track. So I can now go in and con, select my chord and modulate the pitch. And when you're done recording your loop, using Panorama's proprietary looper feature, you can skip on to the next part of the song. Let's go back to our VST. I'm going to go to Instrument and then press View to bring the rack into view. Now I said at the start of the video that our proprietary grab feature ensures you can access any automatable parameter of any mapped VST. Let's take a look at that in practice. I'm going to select the very first patch that we loaded when we first opened MS20 in Reason. You can hear a lot of modulation, but you'll also hear at the very end a nice tail that could work well as a lead sound. I'm going to extract that lead sound, and I know how to do it and which parameters to tweak. I can see them in the plugin GUI, but they're not currently assigned to the controls on Panorama. And there's nothing more frustrating when you want tactile control over a plugin than seeing the parameters you want to control, but knowing that they're not mapped to the controls that you want. Our grab feature makes sure that it's really easy to do this with Panorama. Hold down shift to engage grab, move the controls you want to grab, so the controls you want tactile control over, seven of them now, and release shift, then you turn controls on panorama in the order that you want. 
to grab them. And I can assign gravity controls to encoders above the faders, the faders themselves, and the buttons as well if I want to. Now I've got a tactile control over the parameters I want, and I can go in and I can tweak and turn this into a lead patch. Okay, I'm liking that, and I've also got a creative way of modulating with it too. So I'm going to save that patch out in Reason. A handy tip, I use the favourites to add different instruments by name, and then in here I save some of my favourite patches that I create as I go along. And the reason that I do this is because in the new instrument menu, shift instrument and instrument mode, remember, you can select instruments, but you can also navigate the next and the previous arrows using the patch buttons of Panorama. So now I can go in and select an instrument by name. And I can then choose a patch that I've created already. Now the standard mapping ensures that a lot of the parameters I want to edit this patch with are already on the home page, but I'm going to add, using grab, filter mix, and I'm also going to add some effects, delay feedback, and the mix for the delay. Here we go. Now you may have noticed that I just mapped the controls that I'd previously used in the MS-20. If I go back to the MS-20, I can still edit my lead with those controls. And that's because grab parameters are at instrument level. They will stay assigned to the instruments until you restart reason. At that point, the standard mapping comes back into play. This is the advantage they have over remote override. Remote override is global, that means that if you use remote override, that control stays mapped to one parameter for your entire session. We reserve in transport mode the fader section for remote override, but for instrument mode, do use grab. So there you have it, grab, randomize, more than a hundred VSTs mapped by default. All of this as a free update to registered panorama owners. Thanks for watching.